Hello, so today I'll show you this binary to BCD converter. Now, if you don't know what binary is, um, go check out my other video called uh, A Guide to Binary and Hexadecimal, link in description. So check that video out and then come back here when you know what binary is and how it is counted. So uh, without wasting for the time, let's begin with this video. So this is a binary to BCD converter. Now what does BCD mean? BCD means binary uh, coded decimals. So just for comparison purpose I will show you another uh, BCD design that is generally used uh, which is most common BCD decoder. So as you can see this thing is much huge okay and uh, what exactly this does is in binary you type a number and it gets converted into BCD format so for example I will demonstrate on my design so this is called 1 2 4 and 8 these lamp represent these particular numbers and here are all the bind decimal numbers so if we turn on 1 we will get 1 over here if we turn on 2 we get 2 over here if I turn on 2 and 1 which means 2 plus 1 that comes 3 then I can turn this both off and 4 it turns on 4 4 plus 1 that turns on 5 4 plus 2 turns on 6 4 plus 2 plus 1 turns on 7 and then we can turn these three off and turn on the lamp that represents 8 and we will get 8 as output 8 plus 1 9 8 plus 2 for 10 8 plus 2 plus 1 for 11 8 plus 4 for 12 8 plus 4 plus 1 for 13 8 plus 4 plus 2 for 14 and then 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 for the last number of 4 uh, bit binary which is 15 so uh, since I made this only 4, uh, four bit which means I have 4 binary uh, digits so I can only represent number up to 15 but I can add further bits by like 16, 32, 64, 126, uh, 256 and I get 512 and so on and this thing is infinitely expandable because I'm using repeaters so you can infinitely increase the number of bits and the length of this thing so there is literally no restriction in this design unlike this design which uses redstone dust and because redstone dust has limited signal uh, signal strength you have to of course use repeaters in between uh, but this thing isn't that reliable to be honest and which is one of the reasons as you can see this is so huge so what I'm doing here is I'm using repeaters so you can see three repeaters and one torch now this is the basically like a uh, combination lock so if you have ever built a combination lock you know the lamp you want turned off you place repeater next to it and the lamp you want turned on you place um, torch next to it and then these torch and repeaters will power this redstone line so if the line is powered the lamp will be turned off as soon as the line goes unpowered the lamp will turn on if the line is powered then lamp turns off so for example if I turn this one on it is powering the repeater repeater is powering the line lamp is turned off this first lamp is turned off okay and if I turn this on this one then the torch is off which means it's no more powering the line but line is still getting power through this repeater which is why lamp is still turned on turned off I mean and if I just keep this one on and rest of the three off then you will see that lamp gets turned on but if I do anything else than this then the first lamp will be turned off 
and this is how we create combination for each and every uh, BCD number which is decimal number so we have to create a unique combination for each of these numbers um, using these four bits so the problem here is when you're making combination locks you need space if the redstone dust of two different combination locks are placed next to each other they will interact with each other and mess everything up so this is why uh, this system has limitations you you need a lot of space in this kind of decoder um, and this is why when I was building a computer project I gave up on using that thing over there and I designed this new thing over here now these pistons you can see they're unnecessary and uh, these torches you can see so these torches are acting like repeaters so uh, I will just explain you so as you can see if I turn everything off and keep only the first bit on you will see that there are three uh, three torches so this repeater is running into torches okay um, and then there are three torches above them and these torches are powering the redstone line above them okay so these three torches will power the same uh, for example the repeaters below are unpowered and these torches above are also unpowered which is why the line above them is also unpowered but if you look at this uh, the torch which is being powered with uh, the to the repeater which is powered it is turning a torch to unpowered state at the bottom and then this unpowered state is turning into powered state in the next stage and then getting again unpowered which is why this uh, the line above is completely unpowered and which is why the redstone lamp is turned on now if I turn off the first lamp it will cause the upper layers to get powered or if I turn on any of the other lamps uh, it will still get powered so it works just like the other system there but in much less space so if you haven't understand yet I will uh, build one of these and try to explain you what's going on so for example uh, I'm using pistons here because I'm obsessed with pistons but you don't need them so I will just demonstrate how to build one without using pistons and I will also explain you how it is functioning meanwhile I'm building it so let's begin so here I place my four bits okay then I place my four levers and then I place my four repeaters okay and if I power any of these it will power the repeater behind so now I need a layer of blocks then I need layer of repeaters then a layer of blocks repeaters in repetitive pattern so as you can see so let's start I will just finish this real quick so I'm not going to make all the 15 uh, BCD numbers over here I'm just going to make as many as are enough to demonstrate what's going on so I guess this is 9 right yeah so if we place blocks over here make sure all the repeaters are on one tick okay and then you want to uh, place blocks between them so you just want to make a uh, a line of repeaters and blocks first being powered by one of these um, inputs binary inputs and once you have done that you want to take out torch and place four torches on each one of these so pretty basic stuff pretty simple now these torches are uh, the way we are going to make the uh, combination locks is using these torches so you need to place four torches on each one of these and once you've done that take some blocks and you need to place blocks 
I will just show you, you don't need to place blocks like this uh, you need to okay I'll break the center ones because they are unnecessary yeah so now you want to make a row of blocks above these torches like this and you want to do this for every single one and I'll just do it real quick so now each and every block is getting powered the blocks above each and every one of them are getting powered okay so now we are going to create our combination lock so in for the first bit for the first number we want the first lamp to be active so we will place the torch on the side of the block not on the top on the side okay the lamp you want active you will place the torch on the side and the lamp you want inactive you will place the torches on the top and then you will place a row of blocks above them and then you will place a block above the torch on the side and another torch on this just like I demonstrated right now and then a torch over here and a lamp and that's your one digit done so you can see it's getting activated if I turn anything else on it will be unactivated um, unpowered and yeah so it's quite simple right you just need the lamp you want active you need to place torch on the sides for the lamp you want active and that's it that's all you have to do so for the second one we need the second lamp active to give output for the third one we want first two lamps active so I will place torches like that for next one we want third lamp active for next one we want third and first lamp active for the next one we want third and second lamp active for the next one we want third second and first active okay then for the next one we want the last one active which is fourth one and for last one we want four last and first one active though this the last we made over there was number nine which is eight plus one so last last digit represents eight and first one so eight plus one it was nine and now you want to place blocks on the torches that are on the edges and then torch again like this so do this for every single torch that is on the sides one over here and one over here so you need to do this for every single torch that's on the sides and we are on number 4 plus 2 plus 1 which is 7 and then 8 and then we are on 9 okay so this done now let's place torches over here and now you want to cover the top of all of these with blocks again so just cover this up okay I'll, I'll do this uh, okay yeah so now once you cover all of these up then you want to place a line of redstone dust on each one of these so let me just complete this real quick uh, and yeah So and it's almost done okay so now you want to grab your redstone dust and place it on each of this and this is your combination lock 99% done so the last step is inversion of signal uh, and once you invert the signal using a torch so you want to place a torch on each one of these and then a lamp right next to the torch okay and that's it that's done so if you want to increase the number count above 15 you just want to add one more bit on the binary side and then um, you want to add one more row over here so for example 
uh, this the last one here is 8 so you can add a lamp next to it and name it 16 then a lamp next to it 32 64 and you can keep making the similar things similar combination lock next to it and yeah that's it that's pretty much it so if you're thinking that okay uh, so let's test this thing first so 1 2 1 plus 2 3 uh, 4 4 plus 3 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 and then 8 plus 4 then 8 plus 1 okay 9 the last one 8 plus 1 gives us 9 we because we only built up to 9 we didn't build any further so now you know how this function but the thing is uh, you might be wondering what even is this useful for that's a nice question so what exactly is this useful for is if you are making a calculator and doing calculations in binary then this will turn your binary numbers into decimal other than that there are many uses for this thing and uh, I will I will make a video on one of the uses for this system and you will be pretty amazed by what's going to be uh, made out of this so make sure you follow my discord server because I will post more things over there and I post stuff over there before I post on uh, post in videos so you're basically updated already and that's it so I guess yeah that's it for today make sure you subscribe and join the discord server so that's it for today see you next time